In this video, we are going to learn to create charts in Excel. We're going to create three charts, a bar chart, a pie chart, and a Pareto chart. The first two are relatively straightforward. We have a set of data here that's already been entered into a, an Excel worksheet. Type of entree and the number served. Highlight our data and from the toolbar click on the insert tab and then scroll over to the bar chart icon and choose the top icon on the left and there's our bar chart. To create the pie chart we again highlight our data click on insert, choose the pie chart icon, and again select the top icon on the left under 2D pie, and there's our pie chart. To create the Pareto chart, we're going to highlight our data, and copy and paste it to another location in the worksheet. The Pareto chart requires that we make a column chart and then add to that a cumulative percent line on the same chart. The first step in creating a, part, a Pareto chart is to order our data from largest to smallest. So to do that, we're going to click in any of the cells under, no, under no, number served and right click and sort from largest to smallest. This rearranges our values from the largest value to the smallest value. With that done we need to add two more columns but first we want to sum the column of number served. So click in the cell that is empty below the last value in number served and hit the equal symbol since formulas start with equal in Excel and then type the word sum and a menu box opens and we'll double click on the word sum highlight our values and then write parenthesis and hit enter and that sums our column. With that done I'm going to enter the word percent in the column next to the heading number served and then scroll over and hit cumulative or type cumulative percent and I'm abbreviating that. Now we need to calculate the percent by entree. I'm going to click in the cell underneath the label percent and hit the equal symbol and click in the cell with the first value of number served and my division symbol and then click in the cell that has the sum of the column number served and hit my F4 key to lock that cell in place and hit enter and then I could go back into the previous cell and move my cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell until it changes shape. Hold my left mouse button down and drag down the cells and it automatically fills in the percent. Finally, our last step is to calculate our cumulative percent. 
I'm going to click in the empty cell under the label cumulative percent, hit the equal symbol, and then click in the first cell under the heading percent and hit the enter key. I'm going to hit the equal symbol again, click in the cell above the cell you're in, hit the addition key, and then click in the second percent cell and hit enter. Move back to the previous cell and fill down. Now we're going to highlight our data including the labels. Go to the insert tab and then scroll over to the column icon and click on the column icon and choose the first one on the top left under 2D column. This gives us a histogram of our entree served. I'm going to move it to another location. It's difficult to see on the chart, but all three of our series are plotted on the y-axis. We want to remove the series 2, which is the percent, as we only want the number served and the cumulative percent on the chart. To remove series 2, we will click inside of the chart, right click, and choose Select Data. And then we want to select the percent, or it may say Series 2 in your Excel worksheet, and we want to remove that. Click on Remove and hit the OK button. Now we're ready to add our secondary axis and turn this histogram into a Pareto chart. From the layout tab we want to click on the format tab and then move over to the chart area which is located on the far left under the file on the toolbar. Click on the down arrow and choose Series Cumulative Percent. Next, click on Format Selection and then Secondary Access. What we have now is both Series 1 and Series 3 plotted on the same graph with Series 1 using the left-hand vertical axis, the primary vertical axis, and Series 3 using the right-handed vertical axis or the secondary vertical axis. Excel has placed Series 3 on top of Series 1 in the chart. So what we want to do is to change the chart type by going to the Chart Tools area on the toolbar and clicking Design and Change sh Chart Type. And under Combo, choose the second icon 
from the left, the clustered column line and secondary axis, and click OK. We now have our Pareto chart created. We have a legend here. We could remove the legend. And our secondary axis goes to 120%. We only need it to go to 100%. So click on the secondary axis to highlight it. Then double click. We can click on the secondary axis and right click and go to format axis and change the maximum value from 1.2 to 1.0. Close the format axis box and we have our Pareto ch chart created. You could ch change the name of the chart and if you wanted to move it to another worksheet or another workbook right click on the chart copy and paste it onto another worksheet or another workbook that concludes this video I'll see you next video thank you